Governor DeWine's plan to start reopening the state will begin on May 1st, while many businesses are waiting for guidance from the state. Kaylee Gunderson talked to one owner who wants to be in the first wave of businesses putting their employees back to work. Number one, our staff, and number two, our clients who need um, our, our relief. And Heather Gerke, owner of the True Rest Float Spa, can't do that with closed doors. It's been really frustrating for us being closed because so many kids are in pain, chronic pain. Or having difficulty sleeping or experiencing PTSD. Her husband's inspiration for opening the float therapy business five years ago. After his two tours in Iraq, he was looking for some type of natural holistic healing other than pharmaceuticals. But since Governor DeWine ordered the closure of spas weeks ago, Gerke has been waiting for the chance to reopen. We want to do our part is getting Ohio moving again, and we can do it safely. Come May 1st, that's the plan with some new rules, limiting the number of people in the building, staggering appointment times, and switching to a no-contact checkout system. Also adding motion sensor hand sanitizers and disposable masks for clients. We're ready to allow people to come in and get the benefits of floating, get the isolation if they want it, and um, be alone and then check out, wave goodbye to us. Without a clear plan from the governor for what can and cannot reopen on or shortly after May 1st, she's making sure this business is prepped and ready. If the governor were to say, hold up, we're not going to open May 1st, then of course we would honor his direction. In Columbus, Kaylee Gunderson, ABC 6 News.